War Diary Day 545 of Russia's War Against Ukraine update. Yevgeny Prigozhin is dead. He was in a plane. It crashed in Russia. I'm afraid to say I predicted this. I predicted that um, if I was Yevgeny Prigozhin, he's the leader of the failed mutiny against Vladimir Putin, which happened earlier this summer, that if I was him, I wouldn't go near a window. I wouldn't drink the wrong kind of tea, and I wouldn't get in an aircraft. So he did one of those things, and now he's dead. Um, and my first response when I heard the news was to laugh my fucking head off, because you give Yevgeny Prigozhin and the Wagnerites are responsible for war crime after war crime after war crime. They're responsible for a whole series of barbarous acts, cruel beyond belief. The other day there was a Ukrainian prisoner of war who had lost both his arms and he'd been captured by the Wagnerites and effectively they let his arms rot and they what they did to this poor man was they used amputation as a form of torture. Prigozhin was a crook and a cheat and a liar and a war criminal. He ran the bot farms that helped Donald Trump win the 2016 election and he may also have run bot farms which helped us get Brexit. And now he's dead. By the way, this isn't by any means the first person who is, who is critical of Vladimir Putin to die in a plane crash. I'm thinking of General Lebed. I'm also um, thinking of a, of a journalist, Artyom Borovic, who also thought that Putin might have been a paedophile. They died in plane crashes. And now it's Prigozhin's turn. It tells you one more time Vladimir Putin is not a man you can negotiate with. He's a serial killer. Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.